Jacob Cotterill, congratulations. You are nominated as a bridge builder in this Bridge Builder Excellence Award, as well as in the top 10, because you're getting it done not only on the field, but also in the classroom and in the community. So congratulations for your excellence. Yes, sir. Thank you. It means a lot. Yeah, well, we're welcoming you in because we want to see more of Jacob Cotterill's out here in this community. And uh, do you mind if I ask you some of the keys to your success uh, as we move forward this interview? Uh, yes, sir. That's fine. <laughs> well, great. Well, let me just start off by saying excellence. What does excellence mean to you? Excellence to me, it's not so obviously, you know, excellence is your accomplishments, what you do, but it's it's not so much to me that as it is how you rebound from your failures. I feel like that defines people more as a person than your accomplishments, just because your ability to bounce back from the lowest of lows, it just, it builds character, defines who you are as a person. And I can really appreciate that in others. That's great. So tell us, where do you go to school? Uh, Somerville High School. Somerville High School. And you're on the football team. What position are you playing? I'm um, a uh, D-lineman. And what is your favorite thing about playing defensive alignment? Oh, I love the physicality. I, I, I love being able to go up, hit somebody in the mouth. I, lo I love getting sacks. I love TFLs. Just the the feeling I get from being able to just be out there, let out all that aggression, it's amazing to me. <laughs> well, it's a great uh, game, football, and uh, we certainly share that passion. So tell us, where are you off to after uh, Somerville? Uh, Army West Point. Wow, going to West Point. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, Jacob, tell us a little bit about uh, – you know, let's say that you've got a young person coming into Somerville and they say, Jacob, what's the keys to success while I'm in high school? What would you tell them? Um, in high school as a whole, I just say, you know, slow down, enjoy it while you can. It as a senior, I mean, it's starting to hit me now where it like it's creep it creeps up on you fast and all of a sudden <laughs> you're an adult and you don't know what you're doing. But um yeah, just slow down, enjoy it, enjoy being a kid, and have fun. Obviously, keep your grades up. Um, but yeah. That's great. So speaking of grades, what is it that you like best about making good grades? Um, not only is it rewarding just physically, but I mean, it's it gets you places. Like uh West Point, that's something that wouldn't have even been considered but i having good grades and being able to keep up a, a good status as a student gets you a lot of places that people you know discredit but i i hold it to pretty high value well i love that so uh you know you recognize that getting good grades is good for you because it gives you opportunities yes sir well, let's talk about, you know, another part of this award is the fact that you're not only taking care of yourself, making good grades, but you're also spending some time to help others. What is it about helping others and giving back that you like? Um, So, you know, when I was younger, my family moved around a lot and I was never, re I never really felt a sense of community. And so well, whenever I finally got to Somerville, we settled down in this area. It, it, it was, I mean it was just being helped by others, being surrounded by others in the community. And I was like, this is awesome. I want to, I want to be a part of this and being able to do that and re gift that to other people and, you know, help little kids get experiences that I didn't necessarily get. It, it just, it means the world to me. That's fantastic. So you actually, uh, not only you're helping other people, but it helps you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you mentioned it a little bit, uh, you know, sounds like you've had some mentors in your life. Tell us about some of those mentors and role models in your life. Um, you know, obviously my coaches, huge, 
huge mentors. I can't thank them enough, but I think my biggest mentor would definitely be my dad just because he not only guided me to pursue what I want to in life, but to uh, just build me as a man, you know, just help me become a better person. That's fantastic. What's your dad's name? Uh, Rob Cotterill. Rob. So want to thank Rob and your coaches and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, this term bridge builder. What does being a bridge builder mean to you? So I think being a bridge builder, um, I think it means to, you know, help bring people together as a community. Well, that's an excellent answer, Jacob. And that's what we're trying to do here with this Bridge Builder Excellence Award and the Bridge Builder Excellence community. In a time where so many others are dividing us, we're bringing us together. We're bringing people together. And we appreciate you being a bridge builder. Uh, West Point's one of the greatest uh, uh, institutions in America. You should be proud of that. And we at the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame are proud of you. And we consider you part of our family now. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is there anything that uh, you'd like to say, any qu question that I should have asked, or just anything you'd like to say? Um, Not really, no. Nothing special. Awesome. I, think, I think you covered it all. Well, that's fantastic. Again, Jacob, we appreciate you uh, giving us a little bit of your time today. We know you're busy, and uh, we're lifting you up as a role model, and uh, we want to see more of Jacob Cotterell's in the world, and we want to see more of you. So uh, we'll be following you, and let us know when the South Carolina Football Hall of Fame can uh, help and support you in any way moving forward, and thank you again. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity.